Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Merge and Wakelet joint webinar. Um, first of all, I'd just like to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, thank you, Kathy, and thank you, Stephanie, uh, from Merge for joining us. Uh, and also, thank you to everybody in the chat as well. We know that it's a, it's a really, really difficult time for teachers right now, so we really appreciate that you're taking the time out of your probably very, very hectic schedule uh, to sit with us today and, and learn about some exciting things. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just let us know in the chat and we're going to try and answer all the questions uh, as we go along. Uh, in the chat, as you can see, we've also got the lovely James from uh, Wakelet who uh, will be supporting some of your questions as well if we don't get a chance to uh, answer them ourselves. So um, this webinar is going to be all about getting the most out of app smashing Merge and Wakelet, right? So I'm really, really excited about Merge. Uh, um, we partnered up like, what would you say, Stephanie, just oh, just about like half a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yep. since, since then we've had some amazing like feedback from the community um it was you know one of one of the most celebrated partnerships that we've had so i'm really really excited about it um and yeah we're going to be talking about that a little bit but um first i'm going to introduce our amazing guests that have uh, uh, joined us today so stephanie do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself sure hi uh, my name is stephanie and i work with merge i've been with the company since the very beginning so I've had the opportunity to see it from where we started to here we are today. Um, and I'm the community manager. So that means I get to work with our amazing community of educators. Um, I get to talk with people like Kathy all the time and it's just so much fun. So that's what I do. Amazing. And uh, Kathy, I mean, Kathy, if, if anybody's in the ed tech scene, you know, she doesn't need any introduction. Probably one of the most hard, hardest working people in ed tech. Um, yeah. You know, our our superstar. Kathy is actually the, the, the person who brought Merge and Wakelet together. Kathy, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Kathy Kersnowski. I'm a technology integration specialist here in New Jersey. And I, I'm just an ed tech enthusiast. I'm a lifelong learner and I love playing with educational technology. So mm -hmm. kind of got my, my finger on the pulse of what's going on all over the place. And when I find great companies and great products, I like to introduce them to each other and let them be friends. And that's, that's really what happened here. So I, I knew the team from Wakelet. Um, I'm a Wakelet ambassador. I'm a proud Wakelet ambassador, right? And so I know that they're from England. And then I also am a Merge ambassador, proud Merge ambassador. And I know, I know, I know the great team from Merge and they're based over in Texas. And, um, I just thought, well, these people need to know each other because both communities are so great. And I just saw a great reason to bring them all together and let's yeah. all be friends. And that's what's happened. Oh, thank you so much. And and since then, you know, we've been in close contact and we've we've uh, come up with some amazing ideas uh, that we think you guys will love. Um, personally, I just like to say before I jump into a little bit about what Wakelet and what we do, um, I just like to say that I I'm, I find merge to be one of the most exciting ed tech uh, platforms and companies out there. Um, you should have seen what the reaction was like uh, when we were at TCA, when we were at BET, um, just a huge crowd around the booth. I think that one of the most amazing things about Merge is that they're helping uh, educators realize that it's not actually that difficult to bring things like virtual reality and mixed reality into the classroom, um, that there are entry level ways that you can do this that's that really affordable and really easy to get started as well. Because I think that a lot of educators and most people as well, when they hear virtual reality, when they hear mixed reality, they think, you know, loads of expensive equipment, a massive steep learning curve and all that type of thing, super computers, right? Um, and what I love about Merge is that you've just made it so, so accessible. I know you've got something special to show us today as well. Um, but what I'm going to do first is uh, just for anybody who doesn't really know what Wakelet is and, and what the platform does, I'm going to just jump into uh, a few really, really quick examples and hopefully share with you um, uh, a few ideas of how you can use it. Now, <clears throat> I know that this is quite a difficult time for educators right now with what's going on in the world. A lot of you are facing school closures. Um, so where we can, we're gonna try and give this webinar a bit of a remote learning spin as well. So mm -hmm. any chance that we get to show how you can implement what we're doing, um, you know, in this situation will do because I know that all of you know all the ed tech companies we've all kind of come together and tried to support educators because we know you're in very uncharted waters right now so we'll do our best um, right so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to take you through a very 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 quick simple um, uh, simple walkthrough of what Wakelet is so once everybody can see my screen I'd love if um, uh, Stephanie or um, Kathy could tell me can you see my screen yeah. yeah. 
Okay, perfect, amazing. Um, so this is a remote learning guide that we've just put up on Wakelet. Um, you can uh, just, I'm gonna copy this as well, just so that if you're in the chat, you can click and follow along because this is, these are some really good resources. And uh, what we've done is just given a really simple overview of what the Wakelet platform can do. So Wakelet is a platform that allows you to take any type of content from across the web, mm -hmm. uh, create beautiful looking collections with that content, um, and then share those collections with uh, teachers, with students, with parents, and with your wider learning community. So it all starts with creating a collection. Uh, you then add content to the collection. Like I said, it can be anything. It can be videos, tweets, articles, notes, text, PDFs. Um, we've also got an amazing Flipgrid embed, uh, which is fantastic. And, and much, much more. So it's really just taking any type of content that you, uh, you can, um, curating it, adding your own context to it, so your own notes, your own content, um, and then creating amazing things with it, and then sharing your collection as well. So we know that right now, it's really important for you to get content to the people that matter the most, to the students who may be at home. And um, we've made it really, really easy to share collections, and I'll, I'll dive into that just a little bit later. Um, you can also collaborate with your students, right? So when you create a collection, uh, this collection can be on anything. So let's say if it's a lesson plan or a reflection board or something like that, you can then share that collection with your students and they don't even need to have a Wakelet account. You just share a code uh, and then they can contribute to it and add their own thoughts and ideas and that type of thing and then collaborate as well. So um, if I... If I was to sit here and explain to you all of the uh, ways that Wakelet is being used in the classroom, we'd be here for quite some time because it's extremely versatile. Um, you know, we're not educators, so we, we couldn't come up with these um, the, the way that people are using it. This is all from the educator community. But here we've just got a few examples, newsletters, uh, resources for parents, resources for colleagues, assignments, the list goes on and on. And um, we'll be sharing some material and some links with you during this webinar that should hopefully um, kind of highlight that a little bit as well so that you uh, understand how it's being used. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, something really cool. So um, this is a Wakelet collection right now. And this was created just recently by a teacher uh, called uh, Edward Sample. And um, what he's done is he's, he's basically taken a lot of content from across the web uh, and put it all together in one place. And this is a lesson plan. And this lesson plan uh, can be used remotely. So you can literally just send this to your students and then they can uh, use this as a, a way for them to uh, um, uh, respond to an assignment and that type of thing. And as you can see here, he's got his own text with instruction. Um, he's got videos. And when you click these videos, they play in line. They don't go off into YouTube. Um, and this is really awesome as well. He's actually got Flipgrid videos. So he's embedded Flipgrid videos uh, into this collection, uh, giving the students instructions. He's got PDFs here, uh, pictures. Um, so as you can see, I really love this collection just because if I'm a, a teacher and I'm working remotely and my, you know, my students are at home, I can just share this with them via a link and that's it. That's their lesson. You know, I'm communicating with them, obviously not as well as I would have if I was in class face to face, but I've still got a good amount of communication with them and I'm still getting them to really think and reflect on things. Now, before I was telling you how you can share a collection, so I'm just going to go to my home area here. And let's say um, Spanish tips, let's say I teach a Spanish class. If I want my students to contribute to this collection that I've created, um, there's a little bit of gobbledygook here because it was just a test. Um, I can click contributors up here and I can either share this code with them or I can share them this code here. Now, let's say I was to share this code with my students. All they'd have to do is go to wakelet.com And then instead of clicking login or sign up, they can just click enter code. And when they click enter code and click join, they will then be plugged into that collection. So they can give themselves a name, click add. And then once they're in this collection, they can actually start adding content. So they just have to click this plus button here and they can add text, images, PDFs. They can add things from Google Drive and uh, OneDrive. They can also add Flipgrid videos as well, which is really, really cool. So if I type anything in and click save, that will then show in the original collection. So it's a really cool way um, for students to collaborate with teachers as well. So um, I'm not gonna take up too much more time on uh, on Wakelet as a platform. Um, we will be sharing loads of resources with you as we go along. Um, but what I'd like to do now is pass you all over to uh, Stephanie. And Stephanie's gonna talk a little bit about Merge. And um, 
yeah, I'm really excited to hear this as well. So let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mizba. Yeah, so Wakelet's just such an amazing platform. Wow, thank you for going through all of that. I'm not sure that we've gotten that much of an in-depth tutorial about Wakelet, but we use it all the time. And I'm excited to share that with um, the educators that are online with us thank today. You. Um, but yeah, so Merge, wow. Um, we've been going for about six years now. We started off in the consumer space, um, always for kids, always for fun and education. My background is in teaching. Um, my husband is actually Franklin. He's a CEO and founder, right? So that's why I have this sort of unique perspective. I got to see it from the very beginning to where we're at today. Um, and we always knew we education was a goal, but it's not, you know, I mean, VR and AR was hardly even a thing six years ago in society, much less in the classroom yet. Um, and so we actually started off with our uh, Merge headset. So it's a mobile VR headset. It's colorful. It's made of soft, flexible foam, adjustable lenses, like super kid friendly. You can drop kick it across the floor um, and the device inside is going to be OK. So, um, you know, super good for kids and for the classroom. Um, and then a little bit after that, we came out with Merge Cube. So I'm sorry I don't have a headset to show you, but so we've got our Merge Cube here. Um, and again, when Merge Cube, there you go. Kathy's got one. She probably has a bunch. Um, when Merge Cube first came out, again, it was very much focused in the consumer space, always for kids, always for fun um, and for learning as well. But uh, what happened was um, some Merge Cubes went on sale at Walmart and educators found out about them. A lot of you know who Leslie Fisher is. She's a good friend of ours um, and Kathy's too, amazing person. She picked one up at Walmart and was like, huh, I wonder what this does. And she checked it out and she tweeted about it and said, hey, if you're an educator, you need to go buy these for your classroom. Um, they're really cool. Your kids are going to love them. Um, and it sort of caught fire. Um, and so we, we were so excited to have now an opportunity to um, not move into education, but to focus on education 100%. So we are 100% focused on educators at this point in the company. I'm so grateful to be here. We've developed, um, ever since then, we've uh, developed education software that students can use in the classroom, that teachers can use in the classroom. We're deploying um, our platform into whole schools at this point. So, you know, when teachers found us, there were a few fun, you know, kind of games that they were using to teach volume, right, and math, um, or, you know, just finding ways to integrate it into the curriculum. And it was just so amazing seeing their ideas. Um, and so, yeah, now we're focused on creating content that makes more, uh, makes it easier for any teacher to use AR and VR to teach their students with. Um, to create content. Um, and we feel like, you know, it's kind of day one um, mm -hmm. on that front. So we're super excited to continue developing more and sharing more and supporting the education, um, you know, just at large. Um, for right now, we're focused on kinder through eighth grade. We've got a lot of high school teachers um, actually that are using it. And we even have um, educators at the college level using the headsets um, to share immigration studies and empathy. Um, actually, the University of Washington has a whole course designed around a 360 video collection that we have on a Wakelet board um, that's the actual college curriculum. And they, they have a class set of merged headsets. And they're actually, they went, they were, I think, the first university to go 100% um, remote in Washington. Um, and so they've actually been using the same, the same things, the same videos remotely. Um, so yeah, Merge, Merge is so excited to be in this space um, and I'm excited to share um, in just a little bit some more remote learning resources that we've compiled together using Wakelet uh, to share with all your educators that are online today. Amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said before, I can't sing Merge's praises enough. I, 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 the feel of actually like holding something tangible and tactile in your, in your hand and uh, just bringing the app over it or using the headset and just seeing it like burst to life is incredible. When I brought this back to the office, um, you know, everybody was, everybody was using it. We immediately downloaded the app and we were just like, whoa, it's incredible. Um, and I know that, um, ah, yes, and I am, yeah, you can see that Brandon's uh, added the refugee studies in virtual reality. Again, that is 
absolutely phenomenal like to to be able to take students out of the classroom almost and put them in a scenario that they may not be used to and mm -hmm. and it, it just it checks all the boxes you know empathy discovery all sorts of things so yeah it, it's it's a real pleasure to be partnered with you um kathy we're going to move on to you now because uh kathy is an absolute rock star and she is known uh for connecting the dots and uh, uh finding amazing <laughs> ways to app smash uh, different products together and different platforms together in the most creative ways possible. So Kathy, take it away. Well, I just, I want to jump in because a few times I've heard, oh, the Merge app, the Merge app. And I just have to say, I can't stop at one app. I can never. Merge, <laughs> Merge is fascinating. So they've got, you know, a couple of great websites. And I mean, this is just my iPhone, but you can see I've got like a Merge Cube selection in, on my iPhone. And it's not just one page, you know, it's two pages of all these different apps. So you're going to be hooked at the end of today, head over to the app store, type in merge and start to just get as many as you can and make folders like I do because so many of us are home right now, right? And we've got hopefully at some point, a couple of weeks from now, this will become a little bit of routine and we'll have a little bit of time for self-learning and to play. Those of us with kids at home, what a great way we can get them involved and we can start to learn. And there's, there's definitely more than one merge app. So we can start exploring those. I when you asked me to be on here today, I was thinking, you know, what would be a really fun activity that we could do that really shows the power of merge with the power of Wakelet? So there's this um, crazy little thing that I want to try with everybody who's on here. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to talk for another minute. While I'm talking, I'm going to ask everybody to get a merge app. If you don't have one already, grab one. Grab the Explorer app. That's the one I yeah. use the most. Grab, yeah. Grab the Explorer app and download that. And then we're gonna try this little experiment. Do you remember a few minutes ago, Misba talked about how you could share a join code with people and with your students or with other people, and they could collaborate on your Wakelet board. So I created a Wakelet board a little bit earlier. Um, I'm just gonna show it on my computer here. <clears throat> it has nothing in it yet, right? So it just looks like this. It's kind of cool. Look at that cool background that I put there. Oh, nice, over. I'm loving that. Thanks. And it doesn't have anything on it except my introduction so far. So it's just kind of a, a naked board and it needs you to dress it. It needs some fun. And I think it's a good time to start having some fun. So I'm hoping I've talked long enough. Now I'm going to hold this up. Go ahead and screenshot this or write it down. If I move my head, oops, it's actually behind me on the wall back there too. And so this code is 8F447B5. If you go to wakelet.com and you enter that code like Misba demonstrated earlier, here's what I thought would be fun. Let's put merge together with Wakelet. I'm going to stand up for a second. I never do this on camera, but <laughs> I've got this shirt that I made where I scanned one side of a merge cube and I put it on my shirt. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm a so I tested this beforehand and it works. If you guys at home scan this, scan your computer screen right now, we would love for you to do this and take screenshots of whatever you're seeing. So if you're in the Galaxy app, you're seeing the solar system right now. If you're in the Mr. Body app, you're seeing Mr. Body or his lungs or his brain or something fun like that. So if you've got Merge app, Scan me. Oh, I actually I have the uh, I have an app to do Rubik's cube with a merge cube in in augmented reality. So you oh, can even nice. play. Love to see some screenshots. Um, if you could do that, take them now and then think about adding them to the Wakelet collection. So we're merging merge. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yep. I, I would I would I would love it, Kathy, if um, you'd be able to do that in just a short while because I've just downloaded the app and my internet connection is quite slow. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the I, I'm, I did download it before, but um, I'm going to access the camera and I'm going to try and do it now because I want I really want to see this. We'll come back again after Stephanie and we'll try this one more time. So that'll give okay, everybody yeah, a little perfect. bit. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm turning my phone on so I can do it too, Kathy. I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it works. So that's a really fun app smash. And you know what, guys? When I talk about when I talk about merge, 
the number one thing that I always tell people is you can do this. You know, people hear augmented reality and they think it's scary um, or virtual reality and they think it's too much. Oh my goodness, I could never learn that. I'm, I'm not tech savvy. I don't know. And yes, you, yes, you can, because all it is, honestly, you're opening an app, you're pointing it at this and something that's something comes to life, mm -hmm. right? It scans it automatically. There's nothing mm -hmm. tricky about it at all. It's, they've merge has made it so easy for us. So you take you take an app, you point it at a cube, and you see the galaxy spinning. You see a 3D work of art. You see whatever it is that you're scanning comes to life. And there's nothing particularly difficult about that. And there are lots of engaging activities. Mm -hmm. It's engaging for me. But imagine when you do this with a class of second graders or a class of high school kids, yeah. and all of a sudden they're looking at something close up. They're holding the galaxy in their hand, right? And they can spin it around. So, you know, I'm very 2D here, which is a little unfortunate because there's power in the cube. And the fact that you can hold this and spin it around and you can look at an animal cell or you can look at a, a plant mm -hmm. structure very close up or a rocket ship or a car or, oh, there's just tons, there's numerous things that you can look at and you yeah. can hold it in your hand and do that. There's just nothing better. There's nothing more engaging. And now, you know, now that we're home and we can do this, it's a really cool time to try it. Yeah. Yep, and I'm right. so glad that, yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you said now that we're home, we can try it. I think that's a really great segue for me to talk a little bit about the remote learning resources. I saw a question um, pop up in the chat that said, I don't have a merge cube. Can, how can I still engage with this? And I'm so glad you asked, um, actually, because some of our remote learning resources, um, the, the one that we're most excited to share today is a paper merge cube that you can print at home, your students can print at home for free. Um, and we're sharing that um, via our wakelet, our merge wakelet. So before I share my screen, let me just talk a little bit more about um, how we use wakelet as a company. So um, once Kathy introduced us to wakelet and we became familiar with um, what they provide, we our, our minds were blown because VR and AR is something that you that takes a little bit of a learning curve, right? But Wakelet provides a way for anybody to just curate lists of content to um, add videos, to add um, you know things that they found online and to just uh, curate it into this amazing collection um, that anybody can just look at and understand. And so I'm gonna share my screen right now. Sorry, my dogs just walked in the room with me because I'm working from home this week and they, uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Let's see. So I'm going to share my screen. Let me know when you guys can see it. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. Okay. So I am going to share first our main merge wakelet page. Um, we have collections of all kinds of stuff on here. 360 video collections from Discovery, National Geographic. Um, again, the whole video collection from the actual curriculum at um, Washington State University. Um, but here is the collection that I really wanted to share about right now, which is our newest remote learning collection. So Brandon, who's currently helping answer questions for Merge in the chat, and I have been working on this since um, kind of beginning of this week to start collecting resources that are free that any educator and any student anywhere can get started with Merge at home. Um, so if you just tap this First, remote learning with Merge EDU. And let's see if it loads. Can you guys still see it okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Perfect. Notice this um, photo here at the top is just a screenshot from a video. So as we scroll down, you can actually watch this video um, and it will give you directions on how to print and make your own Merge Cube at home. And the link right here, you just tap that and it will open in Adobe Acrobat. Um, so you can just print it directly from there. And um, we have links to our two sort of top Merge EDU apps. So Merge Explorer and Object Viewer. Um, you'll, you'll just click those links to download the apps. Um, we have you know how to create a Merge account for free. It's not... Um, necessarily required to create a merge account um, to use the apps, but we do recommend it and students and educators can create their own merge accounts for free. We are compliant, so you don't have to worry about 
uh, private information from students. And then we have this wonderful video that was integrated here from our friend Kathy. Um, and she she posted, let's how to uh, learn how to use the Merge Explorer app. Um, so watch that video, it's a lot of fun and it's really, really helpful. Um, and then just more information, how to get started with Merge Explorer. Um, you'll go through uh, these three free topics. They're 100% free for any student to use. Um, here's some social content too, just kind of talking through what those topics are about. And then Object Viewer, how to get started with Object Viewer. Object Viewer is an amazing utility app where um, anybody can hold 3D objects in their hand. So we've got all kinds of things from historical artifacts to dinosaurs. Our development team just added a virus collection. So even COVID-19, students can actually hold that in their hand, see what it looks like from all angles, and start to sort of analyze it scientifically. Um, there's geometry, literature, artwork, architecture. So literally, no matter what you teach, you can use Object Viewer for students to learn about different topics. Um, so good, um, you know, kind of step-by-step -step instructions. And then we even have this at the very end. If you want your students to be able to upload their own objects that they even uh, either created or found on a 3D library online, um, they would just tap this, which will take them to the next um, Wakelet board, right? So we're, we've used Wakelet to share all of this information and, and Wakelet is just such a great resource for that. Um, so here you go, if you wanted to learn how to upload your own objects to Object Viewer. Um, you know, lots of great resources on where to create content. So maybe Tinkercad um, or Paint 3D. Um, and then the very last one that we have in this collection today, but we will be adding more every day. Um, in fact, before the end of my business day, I'll be adding even more. Um, we have created this activity plan wakelet for Galactic Explorer. So not, no matter if you've got a kindergartner through an eighth grade student or even in high school, if you wanted to adapt these, this is free. This is for you to use today. Um, students can actually go through um, this activity. Um, the great thing about Wakelet as well is that for the younger students or for students who speak a different language, they've got immersive reader embedded into it. Um, so it can be read out loud. We've got assessment suggestions and extension ideas. So for example, for Galactic Explorer, you know, the students will go through the activity answering questions, um, thinking about some things and then actually creating um, something that they can turn in, whether they create a video and turn it into the teacher, they take a picture of it, they can turn it into the teacher. Um, and now, you know, you have a student who can, can really activate hands-on learning um, using the Merge Cube augmented reality. Um, so they're yeah. learning in a completely new way. Um, and they can create this really meaningful, uh, this project at the end that can be turned in for remote learning. So we only have the, the Galactic Explorer up and live right now but I'll be adding Mr. Body and I'll also be adding Terraforming Earth, which are the other two free topics inside of Merge Explorer. Um, I'll be adding those in today and tomorrow. And then every week we're gonna add new content. So definitely come back, check back. Um, there will be more to learn and more to see. Awesome. Ooh, I mean, one of the... <laughs> um, one, one of the amazing things that I liked when we had our first conversation, Stephanie, was really the ability to contextualize the things that are happening on Merge within Wakelet, right? So being able to have, um, let's say if a, a class is using the, the headset, for example, and, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the experiences happens to be uh, like the one that I've seen, which is in the refugee camp. It's yeah. putting together a um, a collection that the, the 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 class can enjoy and at the same time experience not only just through the the content that you've added so that could be a PDF or an infographic or a Flipgrid mm -hmm. video that you've left but then in Wakelet you can embed that 3D video from YouTube I know that there are uh, companies that you're partnered with and other other kind of um, uh, YouTube channels that do these amazing 3D videos and then with the headset they can experience that um, you know and and then go back and and actually share their thoughts and reflections on on a wakelet page you know mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, Kathy, I thought I'd ask you a, a bit of a, uh, an interesting question. Um, so obviously you've worked with Merge a lot and you've, you've worked with Wakelet a lot. What would you say is um, one of the biggest benefits that you found uh, from Wakelet and one of the biggest benefits, I guess, that you found from Merge? And if you can, I know that a lot of people are working from home and they're facing school closures. If you can try and relate it to, to, to that as well. And um, I'll be showing you a few things around that area as well. Okay, I'm going to answer your question. I've had such a hard time staying quiet because I'm really, really <laughs> about something that Stephanie said, and it came and it went, but I was just, I'm sitting over here going, oh, this is huge. Okay, so Merge, Merge is a company that is, you know, in the business of making these cool little cubes, and they really care about kids getting their hands on these so they can be engaged. This is mine. It's foam. It's what, three by three inch cube? Three, is it three by three inches, Steph? I think so. Yeah, about a three by three. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got like the perfect density as well. It's like not too not too squidgy and and kind of not too hard, you know what I mean? If it was to be thrown at somebody, it's not gonna hurt them, but at the same time it feels substantial, which I like about it. Yeah, and that happens sometimes. These can't break, right? <laughs> right. Oh, no. But guys, this one, I mean, see the size difference? That's because this is paper. I made this right before we got here because merge is giving us this. You're at home. You're remote. You don't have your hands on a merge cube and maybe your students don't either. Now they can. You can yep. send this template out to your students and guess what? You can drop it in a wakelet to send it out to your students with directions and suggested activities and Stephanie's lesson plans for using some of the free apps like Galactic Explorer or Mr. Body or whatever some of the other ones. I mean I just this this is powerful. This is generous. This is amazing that they've provided us a paper template to create these at home. And I did it right before this webinar. Now, it's, I'm just I just got to say I have a friend who has used these paper ones. She actually tried to make a class set on cardstock. They're not going to last you forever. But I talked to Stephanie and I explained, I said, this is just amazing that you're doing this. And she said, well, you know how some websites will let you try their product free for 30. This is kind of like that, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're giving us a way to try before you buy, but you're, you're going to end up wanting this, right? Because they're cool and they're foam and the, the kids just love them. But what, are, what a remarkable gift, Stephanie and Merge, that you're giving the world to be able to do this at home, whether they have them or not. And I just, I, I just had to stop and say that. Oh, thank yeah, I, you. Thank you so much. I remember hearing, uh, sorry, I remember hearing that when uh, Stephanie, we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago and the moment you said like paper merge cube, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And this was, this was even before everything, everything happened with the school closures. I remember just thinking like, wow, like, you know, that it's such an incredible concept. And like you said, it, it, it it's improving equity. It's, um, you know, it's improving accessibility. And I know that, you know, Talking about refugee camps, for example, um, uh, one of these refugee camps in um, in Kenya are currently using Wakelet, and we're we're supporting them. We're sending them over T-shirts and things, and um, it's amazing to see what they're doing there, and that they have. Uh, regardless of the situation that they're in, they're still dedicated to learning and teaching kids. And, and they may not have access to some of the things that we do, but they do have aids, so they do have devices. They may not be the best, but they still work. They do mm -hmm. have access to things like printers. And I just feel like being able to print off something like that and using just your phone have this amazing, memorable learning experience. That's, that's what teaching and education is all about, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they have so many free apps. Merge has so many free apps. I mentioned the Rubik's Cube one. There's, you know, Tilt Ball. There's one called Things that's just really fun. Our kids love to do that when they're done their work. So, yeah, Merge, Merge, is, a, Merge is a friend to all of us. And speaking of friends, because I know Merge and Wakelet became friends, but I also really just want to mention the fact that both of you are connected to Microsoft, right? So Microsoft is our common friend also. And they've been just great. You're both using Immersive Reader. So you mentioned accessibility and inclusion. So... Um, you, you both have that as part of your platform, which just makes it even more powerful for both Wakelet and Merge. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just wanted to say, like, I have, I have at least one collection of just Merge genius ideas on Wakelet, right? And I think a lot of people do. If you just search Merge on Wakelet and see how many collections, I'm sure there are thousands because that's what, that's what we do with Wakelet, right? We curate mm -hmm. resources. And that's just my collection, so I can go find inspiration when I have some downtime and just tap into the collective genius of the world and, sh and keep them in my own 
collection. So I've got things to try, but I could share that collection out with all of you today or a bunch of students and easily share those ideas and, and then, you know, come back to a shared wakelet and collaborate and say, well, what'd you think? What'd you think? And use it almost like a back panel to share experiences around that experience. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I also wanted to say with um, with with merge. So I I kind of for a long time I was at what I call level one. So level one is like intro. I was basically the person who picked this up, scanned it, and went wow wow, and spun things around in my hand, and just wanted to try different apps and learn and learn and learn. And I think that's a great place to start because. It, you don't have to be nervous about doing anything. This is the everybody can do it level, right? And I've just started to get to this level two. And Stephanie had mentioned object viewer. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool object. So get that app today too. So get object viewer app. And it's really cool because I'm now at a place where I'm trying some other places to create content and then view it on the merge app. So in Microsoft's Paint 3D, you know, I can find some free 3D images, but I can also build my own in there. And I've tried it in Tinkercad as well. So in Tinkercad, that's such a great thing for little, even little kids to get in and they can build 3D objects, such a good skill for kids. To and then export that and to view it on a cube. It sounds like level two, but um, I don't know, I've gotten there, so I bet you can too. <laughs> yes, oh, Minecraft. oh, Minecraft objects I've exported and I've used those on a on Merge Cube too. So much fun. Mm -hmm. Right. Um I, I I I again, like I said, I think that any time that you can combine two two ed tech tools together is always always incredible. And like you said, we're you know, but both of both Wakelet and uh, Merger are uh, uh, working with Microsoft. And you mentioned something about the immersive reader as well. Um, so I, I'd actually love to share my screen one more time, just because I think that I know that a lot of this is a little off subject, but I can see you've got your dog there, Stephanie. Yeah. You should be holding her up. <laughs> I'm sure everybody would love to meet. All right, here she is. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. <laughs> Okay, she's still in the show. That's it. We should pack up. That's, that's all everybody's going to be tweeting about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to share my screen again. And um, I just wanted to show you one um, one example of how somebody is using Wakelet. I know that a lot of you have probably seen this profile before um, because it's one that we always come back to. So um, Brandy Ream, she's a kindergarten teacher from uh, Wilson, uh, uh, North Carolina. Her school is closed right now. And um, she was on the webinar that we had yesterday. I don't know if anybody uh, in the, in the, uh, who's attended this webinar today was uh, joined the, the webinar yesterday, but it was amazing. We got to learn some incredible ideas on how to kind of enhance remote learning in classrooms and, and that type of thing. Um, and Brandy's uh, profile is is fantastic. What she's been doing is um, she's she basically creates these uh, daily or weekly newsletters. They used to be weekly, as you can see here, weekly newsletters, and now they've gone daily because. Uh, uh, and she's called it coronacation as well, which I think is quite cute for the kids. <laughs> Rather than saying school closures uh, or vacation, she's called it coronacation. And um, mm -hmm. you know, if I viewed view one of these collections, um, you know, these are all again the stat that you know they're quite it's. These are for young students. This is kindergarten level, but um, the way that she's been communicating with the students has been amazing. Just putting, uh, you know, links to Google Drives here, uh, lessons, that type of thing. And again, when we're talking about immersive reader, that's something really powerful. Um, a lot of the uh, parents of the students that are in Brandy's school or class, uh, you know, English isn't their first language. And, you know, she wanted to make sure that, um, you know, everything that she writes down like this is is going to be able to be read by, by anybody. So with the immersive reader button there, uh, once you click it, and people who haven't seen this are always going to love it, it opens up this, this uh, page here. And if I want to translate this, I just click on reading preferences. I choose my language. So let's go and put... Um, I always I always freeze up whenever this this comes because I was like which language do you choose? But let's pick Italian, um, and then if you just click document, it translates it really really well into the language that you've chosen. And the really cool part is you can click the little play button there, and it will actually play play that uh, text out loud so you can hear it. And on top of that as well, in terms of students who may need a little bit more help when it comes to reading, uh, depending on the the uh, comprehension reading level, grammar, that type of thing. Um, if you click grammar options here, you can highlight nouns, verbs, anything that you want. When you click on certain words, you can actually hear them spoken in English and the other language. Um, and when you click on other words, you'll actually get a visual cue as well that shows what the actual word is. Um, and then on top of that, 
um, for students who may be a little bit um, uh, hard of sight uh, uh, or, or may have visual impairments or even for, for parents and, and, and uh, other teachers as well, you can increase the text size uh, as much as you like. You can change the font, you can change themes. So I think that this is a, a really amazing feature. Um, but yeah, back to Brandy's um, uh, collection here. You know, she set her Wake Up profile out in a really easy visual way so that parents and students and teachers can all look at it and find out exactly what's been going on. Um, and uh, again, uh, I'm going to use this opportunity as well since I've got my screen shared uh, just to show you the new area on Wake Look, which is showcase.wakelet.com. Um, this has uh, just come out yesterday. I know some of you probably saw uh, uh, us announce it on Twitter. This is going to be a place where you can find all of the best collections that have been put together by educators on. Wakelet. So if you're looking for any inspiration or ideas, particularly during this time with remote uh, learning and school closures, um, we're handpicking the best collections here that you can um, uh, choose to, to, to view. And really, some of them are amazing, you know, like this one here from, from Ronnie Barber. This one goes into a little bit depth of, you know, helping students separate facts and fiction about, um, you know, this outbreak. Um, Again, it's really nice content. It's accessible to everybody. And it's a mixture of content as well. It's mixed media. It's really engaging. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do with Wakelet. Um, but yeah, I'll jump back in now. I just wanted to, to, to share that. And I guess this would be a good time uh, to, to speak to uh, uh, Kathy and Stephanie as well. What have your experiences been with, with school closures and what's been going on? Um, I'm sure everybody in the chat would, would, would be, love to hear kind of your perspective on it. <laughs> First, oh, Kathy. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's been as trying as it has been for everybody else. Our district kind of got the word last weekend and made a decision over the weekend. So Monday, you know, it was go time. Uh, my district, we decided to pull in the educators in the morning for two to three hours just so that we could get them some PD about what platforms we were going to use and how this was going to look. So in my district, you know, they all came, but we couldn't put them together in a room, right? Because we're doing social distancing. So everybody went to their own classrooms in the, and I work at the elementary level. So I'm talking about elementary and we created a PD. We had a PDE guide and sort of presented it remotely using Microsoft Teams and people tapped into this from their classrooms. So 400 people were watching this webinar from their classrooms, getting the information. And we said, when you're done, get the rest of the things from your classroom and go home because we're doing that. And ever since then, Ever since then, I've been online um, on Microsoft Teams, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, on my email, on my text messages, on my phone, trying to support those 400 educators along with my counterpart, Mike, uh, running some webinars on Teams um, four times a day that people have the option to join, which has been really cool, you know, and we'll, we will continue to do that every day, at least four times a day, offering optional webinars to help to keep our teachers on board. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'll just answer a question in the chat from Wendy. Uh, Wendy says, I haven't used Wakelet with students. I love it for saving resources for myself. Can you explain what students can do in Wakelet if younger than 13? So yes, um, to sign up and use Wakelet and, and have an account um, and create collections by yourself, you have to be over 13. Uh, but for under 13s, you can use our collaboration feature because you don't actually need to sign in. So I'm not sure if you, um, oh yeah, James has just shared something there. Um, uh, if under 13s can use collaboration and anybody can use collaboration. We've got, uh, you know, children under 13 up to, you know, fully grown adults who are using it for just because it's really easy, like people don't have to sign in and log in and it's just through a code, just like what Kathy did before sharing that code with you. It's as easy as that. Um, so yeah, under 13s can use uh, Wake Up That Way. Oh, you got the code right there. Yeah. If anyone has the app, they can scan it now. It's a really good time. <laughs> but yeah, this is... <laughs> this is what I love. I'm just going to say, this is what I love about the educator community. And I always go on and on and on about it. It's the reason why um, I'm sure, you know, companies like Wakelet and like Merge, it's the reason why we keep doing what we're doing, because we couldn't do it without you. The ideas that you have, I mean, look at what Kathy's doing on the screen right now. I didn't know this was going to happen. I mean, Kathy in particular is like an absolute superstar. Um, yeah. The ideas that she's had have, have been amazing, obviously being an incredible Wakelet ambassador. And um, yeah, I think that being able from our perspective, just on the school closure subject, um, on you know, from our perspective, we found that we've really had to 
try and simplify what Wakelet actually does. I was speaking to Stephanie and Kathy just before we started this. Really simplify what Wakelet actually does because a lot of people who are joining the chat right now, I know everybody, a lot of people in the audience, you already know about Wakelet, you already know about Merge and Flipgrid, you already have kind of a bit of a grasp on uh, technology in the classroom. A lot of teachers don't have that and it's almost like having the rug swept out from under their feet because um, you know, all of a sudden they're in a situation where like, boom, school is closed, what yep. tools can I use? So what we've been trying to do through those uh, pages that I showed you at the beginning of this webinar is really try and simplify everything, uh, distill it, condense it down just to help uh, parents and teachers who may not be tech savvy, um, you know, create collections, join, join collections, collaborate and that type of thing. But one of the things which I found most profound, I think um, it was Erin Flanagan in the chat yesterday. Um, well, she wasn't in the chat, she was, she was actually um, uh, uh, in the webinar with us. One of the things that I found really interesting about what she said was take a moment to settle down and um, adjust, you know, it, when you're in this community, there's a lot of different things coming at you, a lot of different ed tech tools to try out. Try this, try this, try this. I think that it's a case of just like picking a few, learning them by yourself, settling down. You're never going to be able to teach your students as well whilst they're out of the classroom than if they were in the classroom. So yeah, just take that time, that time to really settle into what's happening, settle into this kind of new world, this new way of working, and then jump in from that. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Stephanie, I'd love to hear a little bit more about um, the kind of the, the, the classroom experiences, like the, the virtual reality field trips that you guys do. Um, I think that they're really, really exciting. And I think that um, especially now, even though, you know, at home they may not have the headset, but they still have the phone, they can still kind of use that 3D technology um, in the phone. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. Absolutely. So um, if you, I think Brandon has pasted it in there. If you go to our Wakelet board, um, just our, our main page, we have curated over a hundred different um, 360 video field trips from um, Discovery Education, from National Geographic, um, some just from, from, you know, educational, scientific field trip um, perspectives. And they can literally, if they're on a mobile device, an iPad, even on a laptop, they can just tap it. Um, and it will open those YouTube videos um, and, and they can just explore from there. So they don't have to go to YouTube and type in, you know, 360 video field trips. You know, it's already been curated. We've watched every single one of them. We know they're appropriate. We know they're going to they're gonna learn something. We know they're interesting. We know how important that is for parents um, because we're parents ourselves. Right. I've got a couple of kids here um, that have been doing online learning and um, actually they go to an online school. So for them, oh, amazing. Um, you know, it's been, yeah, we, we feel very blessed. Um, they, it's a really cool program that's um, in Texas. It's a public program. And um, so they've been doing it this year. It's been really cool. Um, but a lot of teachers don't know how to get started remotely. Right. And so that's where our heart has been, um, especially since I would say middle of last week, starting to see ooh, schools are starting to close down. Huh. What are oh, what how you know, what can we do to help? Um, and so that's why we've created this remote learning resources wakelet specifically to help. Um, we know that teachers are being <laughs> sort of inundated with all of these new resources. Right. And things that they can do, which is amazing. Um, and we want to make sure that that we at least offer it right. We, you know, don't want teachers to feel overwhelmed. Um, but like Kathy said, you know, you print you print a paper cube and you download an app um, and then you point your phone at it. And it's it, it's engaging. It's hands on learning. Right. Students aren't just sitting watching a video passively. They're holding something. They're interacting with it. Um, in the case of Merge Explorer, it's their curriculum aligned topics. There's, you know, it's not just the solar system and Mr. Body, um, but we're going to be sort of releasing a new new topic card every week as well and releasing activities with those. So educators, you know, even if your school is closed, sorry about that. <laughs> even if your school is closed until the end of the school year, there will be more and more that your students can do um, with Merge for free, 100% for free. Um, we want these resources for them um, to be available and we're here to help support them as well. So, of course, you know, emails, questions, things like that, we're happy. They'll probably come straight to me 
um, if they email our support. So, um, you know, we're, we're here for you guys. Can't imagine what it's like out there right now. Um, but we just want to do everything we can to try to help. Just on, on, on that note as well, Stephanie, it's like, um, you know, the paper, it's like the paper cube. You know, we were discussing that before the school closures and now we've found like, okay, wow, this is, this is an amazing thing to use. Like, it's almost like fate, right? The yeah. same thing, the same thing applied to us because we, I just, I just got a mess, uh, a message in the chat from Amma who um, talks about, um, he's seen some students with uh, ambassador certificates. Um, so yeah, so uh, Iman, who I know has joined us in the chat, Iman's one of our Wakelet ambassadors um, currently in Palestine. She's uh, a, an amazing ambassador. Um, Iman's taken the, uh, the, the student ambassador course with her school. Um, we developed the student ambassador program, um, mm -hmm. you know, without thinking about anything to do with school closures and that type of thing. And we, you know, we put it out to the community. The response was amazing. Um, and now we're looking at it and we're realizing that teachers are actually enrolling their students whilst they're um, off school because a lot of the tasks, most like most of the tasks can be done remotely. They don't have to be done with teacher supervision. And the way that we've created the, um, the, 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 the program, I just shared the link in there if anybody's interested. Um, the way that we created the program is uh, six different tasks, okay? And the students can earn six badges. And these tasks uh, go cover everything from communication to digital citizenship to collabor collaboration. Um, all these tasks are focused around getting the most out of uh, digital learning and digital skills. And then after, at the end, once the student has completed these tasks, they get a Wakelet um, uh, student ambassador certificate. Uh, it's all about empowerment. It's all about student leadership. It's all about independent learning. Um, mm -hmm. I'll share my screen, I think, one last time for this webinar really quickly, just because it, it does take quite some time to load up the share screen, but hopefully everybody can see it here. I'm going to go to uh, this page, Student Ambassador Program. Here we go. So um, don't go to this page directly if you're looking at enrolling your students. Um, if you're looking at to actually enroll your students and find some information about the course, then just click on the link that I shared because that's how you apply. You'll have to apply and enroll your students. It only takes a few minutes. Um, but as you can see here, you know this is a ready-made, um, uh, you know, learning pack, I guess, a, a ready-made learning tool for uh, students and teachers. So um, these are the student tasks here, and these are the badges that they earn. So if I click on this one, for example, I get some really cool instruction um, from a teacher about what this uh, actual uh, task is about. Um, here are the instructions on what they need to do to complete the task, and then you get an example as well. And then you've got the different badges that you've got over there. And then once you scroll down all the way, after they finished all the six tasks and submitted them, um, you can print off badges here. So if your school has a sticker machine, you can print off these badges, or you can just fill out this form and request some stickers from us. And um, this here, the student ambassador certificate, uh, you just fill out a form and um, you can get a student ambassador certificate um, uh, basically sent to your email and then give those to the students. So the impact that has been around this has been amazing. I actually put a little collection here together um, of you know some of the amazing stories that we've had around the Student Ambassador Program. As you can see, it's gone really global. There's wow. teachers all across the world, you know, from, like I said in my tweet, from Cairo to California, um, you know, and even now it's expanded. That was obviously in February, there's even more now. Um, but yeah, you know, you've got students who are, uh, you know, taking this course, earning these badges, um, promoting that student leadership. Here's the um, ambassador certificates here that people have been sharing. So um, I'll just quit sharing my screen now. So yeah, something like that, for example, is a really, really good way of engaging your uh, students without having to have too much like overhead, right? What we've found a lot of teachers saying is, the student ambassador program really saved me because all of a sudden my school is closed. I now have to kind of like evolve the way that I'm uh, teaching. I've got to learn new tools. I've got to do a lot of different stuff. So for the first week or the first few days, I'm going to set them up on the student ambassador program, enroll them, and boom, that's there. They can they can do that. It can take them a day. If they're working really quickly, it can take them a week or a couple of weeks. It doesn't matter. They're engaging all those key digital skills, creativity, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, just back to that. I know it sounds like a shameless plug, but it's, um, it's really a case of us looking at, at, at something that we created before the situation happened and now being able to apply it to a real life situation where it, it makes a lot of sense yeah 
I want to jump in and just speak on behalf of teachers around the world. We are we so appreciate appreciate when anybody takes work off us, off our shoulders. You've created an online learning course that we can literally just assign with pride, with confidence, you know, and you've done that. Stephanie, you guys at Merge, you've created full on lesson plans that you're sharing with us for free. One last thing we have to do, we give a kid a paper template and, and tell them to get their app and go through this work and do this. Whenever a company can do that for teachers, we are incredibly grateful. And I just, I just really wanted to say that. And I also wanted to point this out because I have it in my phone and I've been waiting for an opportunity. That um, Merge Explorer app, that it's amazing. It's amazing. And I don't think people realize, so I'm just gonna show it up here for just a second. It's full of these cards, they're called. Each one is a different lesson. And so there's Mr. Body, and you've heard of some of these. But when Stephanie said they're curricular, I mean, this is terraforming Earth. Look, a frog's life. I can't even show you all these. There are so many of them. But yes, there's something educational for all kinds of topics that we're teaching in school. And they are educationally aligned. And when you tap into one, it opens up and it takes you through an experience with a little bit of text content and a lot of immersion content mm -hmm. where kids are fully engaged scanning the cube and seeing things come to life that align with the content we're teaching anyway. So it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, I, I really love that about about merge. I, I, it's the content output as well, right? It's like it's not just giving you the tools and that's it. It's like the platform. There's so much passion behind it, and it's really high quality lesson plans, like really, really good content. Well, thanks, guys. We're just <laughs> glad that we're glad that we can put these resources in your hands right now, right, right, right for free right now that you can try. Um, you know, depending on what time it is where you are today or tomorrow with your students. Um, and again, just look at those Wakelet boards, the remote learning um, with Merge EDU Wakelet board is, it's gonna have so much great information, the free paper cube that you can print so your students can engage in hands-on digital learning um, that's curriculum aligned, um, you know, and, it's, and, and do real work with, with real activity plans so the, Right now, the activity plan for Galactic Explorer for that topic is available. I'll add the other two that will be available by the end of the day, either today or tomorrow. Um, and they were written by a teacher. I didn't write them. They, um, so we haven't released all of our activity plans yet in our platform, but we're just now getting them in. So as I'm getting them in, I'm putting them in Wakelet first um, for free so that you can use them today. Um, so we do, we really do hope that they're helping. Yeah, it's 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 amazing seeing the um, you know quite a lot of these tech platforms coming together and, and working together to to help you guys. Um, I see that we're approaching the uh, the end of our hour now. That's gone so so quickly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, just a, a parting word from me, and then if anyone wants to join in afterwards as well, I I just want to say, and I, I I echo what I said yesterday because it's not changed. Um, you know, at, at the Wakelet office, we've been like full on trying to help and support as many teachers as we can, and we're not doing it because we feel you know like, oh, let's do it. We're we're doing it because when we see how teachers are coming together, and when we see how you know everybody's kind of joined and collaborated and helped each other out it really really inspire inspires us so much so you know we want to in the next few weeks do as much as we can to help support uh, your remote learning but at the same time we also want to encourage you to you know settle in first and we know that learning online platforms it can be a little bit overwhelming um you know it's it's tough to pick up five different things and try and learn them at once um we've we've tried at wakelet to try and make it a really really easy kind of learning curve i know that one of the feedback that we get from a lot of people is that it's really easy to pick up i think that the best thing to do and james if you're if you're here you could share the community link um if you join uh, the Wakelet community, um, we're sharing a lot of things day by day now as the situation progresses so that you'll be in the loop and understand a little bit more about what's going on. And we're just trying to put as many resources out there to help support you in your uh, remote learning. And you can use as many different tools as you like, as many different platforms as you like. It's all about finding the ones that really nail those learning outcomes and the ones that you're most comfortable with. Yeah. So and we are. But we're so, I, we see it. 
we know we see it and the things that you're putting out both of you and we're so so appreciative because right now we just need all the help we can get we're trying to teach students how to use technology a lot of us are trying to learn how to use technology anything you can do that's one less thing for us and you're just sharing so so vibrantly we we really really are grateful to you oh, thank you so much that means a lot uh yeah. stephanie any any parting words before we leave Sure, I think you summed it up really well, Mizba. You know, we we are here for you. We are here um, if you need anything. You know, we're here to provide the resources without, you know, stress or pressure to use them. Um, but if you would like to use them and you need help using them, Kathy is a wonderful resource. You can find me. Um, you can find me on Twitter. You can connect with me. If you email support, I guarantee it will come straight to me because that is what I do at Merge. It's my most favorite thing that I do um, is help educators. Um, so, and that's, we're committed to that. We're committed to updating our wakelet boards um, probably several times a week, especially you know for the rest of this week. Um, so yeah, we're here for you. However we can help, just let us know. Thank you so much. And and a big, big thank you to everybody who's joined us today. Um, you know, we've had an amazing, amazing number of attendants here. So it's been really good. Thank you all for interacting in the chat um, and, and just, you know, being there to help your, your, your colleagues and your teachers and your students during this time. We really appreciate it. Um, at Wake Club, we'll be doing a few more webinars, like quite more regularly now. So we, we do have some Wakelet for uh, Wakelet for Beginners webinars coming out soon. And we will be doing another remote learning webinar um, in the very, very near future. So just stay tuned to us. Um, you know, we're full on dedicated to the situation right now um, and doing as much as we can, even though it might not be that much, but we feel like, um, you know, we're pushing as much as we can to help support you guys. So um, I think, yeah, that's the end of the hours. We've gone two, two, uh, two minutes above, but Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kathy and Stephanie, for joining and make this happen. And thank you for all of our attendees. We love you so much. And uh, and we hope to see you again soon in, in any of our uh, further webinars. We've got something from Bruce here as well. Stephanie, if you just want to give a quick shout out, I think Bruce is asking for your Twitter, your at Twitter. Yes, it's a little bit awkward. It's um, at Steph underscore Lions underscore. <laughs> so Steph, S T E P H underscore Lions, L Y O N S underscore. Is that awesome. my buddy there you Bruce? Go. Yeah. <laughs> That's my buddy Bruce. So I'll put you guys in touch with each other. I'm gonna add, I feel left out. I'm gonna add my 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 handle as well now. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody needs anything regarding <laughs> if anybody needs anything regarding Wakelet, you can uh, you can just uh, follow me on Twitter and reach out to me on Twitter as well. Um, like Stephanie said, um, you know we're we're just you know we're at the phones. We're we're constantly plugged in to every question that you ask, everything yeah. that you share, and uh, we try and be as responsive as we can, especially during this time. So um, yeah, I, I wish we had another hour to chat about things. It's been amazing, but thank you all so much for joining, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> there's, there's a cameo from Callum. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you all, everybody. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.